everybody welcome back to my channel we got luna behind me right now just chilling but i thought for today's video it would be really fun to just sit down with you guys catch up and answer some of the questions that you guys had on instagram about us moving life updates just random fun q a's and whatnot so the first question is where are we moving to and why so eric and i are moving to a town that is about an hour outside of philadelphia he is already here with luna and i will be moving august 1st that is when well I'll actually be moving before August 1st, but August 1st is my official date as a Philadelphia-based flight attendant. I am transferring bases, so probably like the week and a half before, Eric and I will spend time packing up our belongings in our apartment in Fort Worth and then driving it out here. There are a few different reasons why we're moving here. Probably the most important one has to do with family health, and so for just privacy and respect, I'm not gonna get into those details. I guess too, Dallas just hasn't felt like home for us for a really long time and something that we've been talking about as a couple for years now is trying to find a different place to move. We've bounced ideas back and forth between Colorado and Florida and it's funny because we're not moving to either one of those but those were places that we had thought we would move to Colorado because that's where we met and that's where we went to school but the issue with Colorado is I would have to commute for work. I really 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 do not want to have to commute. I would rather move to a city where we had a base there and so for a while we thought of the Fort Lauderdale and Miami area Area. However, it is just astronomically expensive there. It is just it is out of our price range. Like we just cannot afford to live there. And we also don't have any family there. And one of the reasons why we wanted to leave Texas was because we felt kind of isolated out there. My parents are in Las Vegas. His parents are here in Pennsylvania and we have friends there, but in terms of family, we don't have anybody. Yeah, we just wanted to be closer to family. And after a few different things that happened in our personal lives, it just made a lot of sense for us to come out here. We're not putting a time frame on things, but probably for the next little while, I guess we could say. We'll be living at Eric's parents' house, which honestly will probably be pretty good because that will help us save money so that way we can save up for a house. Also, I have not been super happy as a flight attendant being based in Dallas for probably around six months now. I think I've just been really burnt out. I even considered quitting flying a few months ago. I think just because I was so burnt out. I don't know. I just, I wanted something new. And from what I have heard from multiple other flight attendants, Philadelphia is a great base where I have the opportunities to get a lot of different international trips, especially Europe, so that means better destinations, less time on reserve at my seniority, and easier to trade into even domestic trips that I would be happier working. And so it just sounded very appealing to me. And with everything that was going on in our personal lives as a family, it really just made sense for us to move out here. Like career-wise for me, to be around family. This is a move that honestly came on very fast. It was very unexpected. If you would have asked us a few months ago if we were moving here, our answer would have been no. It was not even on our radar. But now we are very excited about it. My camera battery died, so I had to go get a new one and Luna decided to leave me. So whatever. Um, okay. Okay, next question is, do I like Philly cheese steak sandwiches? So I actually do not. Um, unfortunately, moving to Philadelphia, I do not like Philly cheese steaks, but Eric does. And we actually traveled to the very first place that Philly cheesesteaks were made just so we could have one there and that was a pretty cool experience. Okay, um, let's do some other like random questions too. What cooler do I use for my food for my flight attendant trip? So I use the eBags Crew Cooler 2, I believe is what it is called. And I have used this cooler every single flight attendant trip since I first started flying over five years ago. And it is still in like tip top shape. It is still keeping all of my food cold. I get the ice packs from like Target or Amazon or whatever and you just throw them in your freezer and then you can just put them on top of your food and it keeps my food cold all day and it has worked fantastic for five years so it's definitely worth the money and definitely worth the investment to get that cooler how do i know that i have adhd that's actually a really interesting question so i've talked about my adhd a few times on my channel but i've never really gone in depth about it so when i was 15 or 16 i was in a history class in high school and she taught this class more like a college course than like a high school course so she would lecture and she wouldn't tell you what to take notes on she would just lecture and then you had to take notes yourself and then she would have the test. I kept failing the test. Like I 
was not gonna pass this class like that's how bad it was and my mom would stay up and she would quiz me on my notes until I knew every single thing on there and everything my mom would ask me I would know like I would get every answer correct but then when it would come to taking the test I would fail so my mom was like hmm something's interesting about this like I'm quizzing her I don't know why she's not passing the test blah 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 and then there also were different signs, I guess, growing up about me having ADD, just like different behaviors that I had and stuff like that. Then it became very apparent when I was trying to learn how to drive because there's so much like stimulus going on around you. I was having a really hard time concentrating. Learning how to drive was a very, very, very difficult experience for me. My mom was like, why don't we just go test her for ADHD? Let's go see a doctor. I went and saw a psychiatrist and a pediatrician from seeing both of those doctors and doing the tests and whatnot, they diagnosed me with ADD or ADHD. I'm not sure which one I have, but I, I have one of them. And then once I got put on the ADHD medication, it was life-changing for me. All of a sudden, I started passing my history exams. I learned how to drive within like two weeks after being on the medication. My gymnastics improved. Like it just made my life. It, it was just night and day, like how much it changed my life. And then unfortunately, something that I have been going through this year, um, you guys have probably seen it on the news and whatnot there has been a significant shortage in ADHD medication and actually the specific medication that I have been on since I was 17 years old one of the main manufacturers of that medication just stopped like they just stopped making it and so it has been nearly impossible for me to get my meds and I talked to my doctors about it and whatnot and we tried this different medication that is also for ADHD and that medication it helped with my AD, ADD, but it also gave me really bad anxiety. And I was like, I'm not gonna trade like one for the other. Like I don't want to help my ADHD symptoms, but then also have anxiety. And so I am actually completely off of my ADHD medication now, which has been quite the journey <laughs> to get to this point. Um, it's been quite the adjustment. And now I am doing more natural supplements as well as just like taking notes of like my ADHD symptoms and doing things to help me throughout the day. So for example, when I'm feeling burnt out, and I just feel like I can't focus anymore trying to go on a walk or trying to do something to clear my head. If you are someone who has ADHD, if you have any tips on how to cope, please let me know because I am always interested in hearing more. Will we get another dog for Luna after getting settled? So not in the immediate future because we definitely see ourselves probably living at Eric's parents' house for about a year. I would say that's kind of like, I guess the timeline that we have in mind so definitely not while we're here but if we can save up enough money within the next year to buy our own house then i could definitely see it being more of a possibility of us getting another dog it is something we would like to do in the future but it's just not the right time for us currently what do i say to people who are afraid to fly so one thing that i try to remind people who have a fear of flying is that statistically it's actually much safer to fly than it is to drive also to remember that your pilots and your flight crew have been through extensive training that in the event of an emergency or if something goes wrong on the plane we know how to swiftly handle it and take care of the issue so trying to remember that you can put your trust in your flight crew that if something were to go wrong on the flight we are trained in how to handle it um, in terms of comfort on the plane I would say to bring something from home that you know is gonna make you feel better so for example a blanket or a pillow noise canceling headphones seem to really help people too as well as like something that will make you feel cozy so a good book some tea and then I guess it depends on like what would make you feel more comfortable some people want to choose a window seat so that way they can lean their head against the window and sleep during the flight whereas some people might want to be towards the aisle that way if you need to get up and walk around you're able to do that too what is my favorite memory living in Dallas as we prepare to move so honestly I think my favorite memory is just when Eric and I first moved in together because it was just so much fun you know it just it felt like a really big step in our relationship and a really big chapter in our lives and now it's almost like we get to do that again moving here like it's almost like we get to move in together again and then eventually when we do buy a house it'll kind of be like repeating that process again I'm really excited for that and then also as random as it sounds one of my favorite memories was when we got snowed in in February I think it was 2021 it was Valentine's Day when there was that really big snowstorm in Dallas and it was freezing but we just bundled up in bed with Luna to keep 
keep warm and we watched vampire diaries all day and it just it was so interesting because i never thought that i would have a snowstorm in dallas but we did and it was just i don't know just one of those random really cozy and fun memories when am i going to read throne of glass okay so you guys know that i am an avid reader i love 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 to read it's one of my favorite things to do and actually reading has really helped um, my adhd because it gives me something to focus on that's almost like a different world that i can just allow my mind to slip into and i definitely hyper fixate a little bit like it's really hard for me to start things and then it's really hard for me to stop things i struggle with transitions and so once i start reading something it's like all i want to do and then i don't want to stop but to get myself to actually start is difficult which i know might not make sense to you but i don't know it just that's how my brain works but here's the thing throne of glass it's like a i think there's like eight or nine books to it i could be wrong it's a really big fantasy series by sarah j mass and she wrote a court of thorns and roses which is the series that got me into reading fantasy in general and i loved that series so i don't know if you've read it let me know if it's worth it i originally thought that there was no romance in it which for me to I, to keep interest in a book there's got to be a little bit of romance and some spice in it but i have heard from some of the responses on instagram that there is romance in it. I also do want to read Crescent City, which is also written by Sarah J Mass, and she has the third book coming out in January. So lots of books to read. <laughs> How is Luna adapting to her new home? So Luna is doing great. Honestly, this transition for her has been a lot easier than I expected. She is doing awesome. Eric's parents also have a really big backyard that she's able to play frisbee in, and she seems really, really happy here, and she's having a good time. So we're really happy about that. <laughs> what does it mean to change bases? Is there a difference in seniority and trips? So when you're a flight attendant, your base is just where you start and finish your trip. So when, well, currently I am DFW based. So every trip that I start is from DFW and then it will always end back in DFW. So the same will be true when I come to Philadelphia is every trip I start will be out of the Philly airport and it will also end in the Philly airport. In terms of um, company-wide seniority, my seniority will stay the same. But in terms of moving to Philadelphia, my seniority... Why is Luna barking? I don't know if you guys could hear that, but I heard Luna barking. Um, my seniority will actually be better than it was in DFW. And I think that's just because there's less flight attendants and there's more junior flight attendants in Philly specifically. So my seniority is actually gonna be a lot better, which means I won't have to do reserve as often. It means I should be able to get more international trips, more fun trips, you know, just a better schedule, better work-life balance. And so honestly, I am just, I am really looking forward to it. It almost feels like I'm changing airlines even though I'm not, but it but it feels like that in a way. Do you have any book recommendations for someone who wants to get into reading? Absolutely. So I do have a book channel called Julia Jean that I will link below. I know I haven't uploaded on this channel in over a month, but with just how crazy our life has been this past month and a half, that channel honestly just completely got put on the back burner. But now that things are starting to settle down again, I plan on filming for that channel real soon and uploading more consistently on there again. But um, in terms of book recommendations, one of my favorite Books that I always recommend if you are into romance is Love and Other Words. And then if you are looking for like a really quick thriller, anything by Frida McFadden is excellent. Um, her thrillers are super quick and easy to read. They're very fast paced. And my favorite book by her that I've ever read was Never Lie. And then if you're looking for a fantasy book to like get you into the fantasy genre, I would recommend Fourth Wing. That book is probably one of my favorite books that I've ever read this year. It has been sold out like everywhere recently. So if you see it, make sure that you pick it up. Will I miss DFW? Honestly, not really. I think I'm going to miss my friends that are there, like my flight attendant friends. Um, specifically, I'm going to miss Tiffany a lot. She's my flight attendant bestie. It's going to be really hard not being based in DFW with her anymore. But honestly, I think that's going to be like the hardest part. When I'm here, I don't miss Dallas at all. So I think that is a good indication of knowing that I am in the right place and I'm where I'm meant to be. And a few people asked if this is going to be a permanent move. And for the time being, yeah, I definitely think this is going to be a permanent move for us. Um, the only other place that I could see us moving to would be back to Colorado, but that would probably be more towards retirement. Just because if I want to continue working as a flight attendant, we can't really live there. I would have to commute. And um, even my parents have talked about within the next three to five years, moving out here to the East Coast. Because when my mom helped me drive Luna out here, she fell in love with the area too and just how green it is 
is, how pretty it is. So if we could get everybody out here, that would be amazing. Will I still be able to get trips to Las Vegas and Salt Lake City where my family lives? Absolutely. And I've even heard that there are more Las Vegas layovers out of Philadelphia than there are out of Dallas. So the chances of me getting them more frequently are higher, which I just think is awesome because it is still really important for me to see my family. And then there were some people who were asking if it was going to be a problem me moving farther away from my family. And the answer is no, because whether I live in Dallas or if I live in Philadelphia, it's still a plane ride away from them. And honestly, living in Las Vegas or Salt Lake City is not really an option for us because I wouldn't have a base there. And I would still have to commute to Dallas or LA or one of the other bases that are closer. And I just don't want to commute with my job if I don't have to. I just, it, I really don't want to have to. I want to drive to work. I don't want to have to take an airplane to work. And my family is 100% supportive and okay with this move. I also want to clear up an assumption um, that some people have been having that I am sacrificing more with this move than Eric is. And to be honest, we're both making sacrifices for this move. Um, maybe it seems like I am more than him just because we're moving closer to his family. But he did the same for me when he moved away from his family in Colorado. He uprooted his entire life and moved to Texas for me. So if I were to say no, I won't move to Pennsylvania to be closer to you and your family, even though I could be based there, that would be extremely manipulative of me and not fair either. Relationships are called partnerships for a reason. You both work together to make sure that both of you are happy. And honestly, both Eric and I have not been happy in Texas for a pretty long time. I just haven't talked about it on my channel. And if moving here is what's going to honestly make us both happy, make our relationship better, why wouldn't we do that? What is one thing that I am really looking forward to living on the East Coast. So I'm really looking forward to fall here. I think autumn is slowly becoming one of my favorite seasons. I love summer. Summer will always be my favorite season, but I also really love autumn and I'm really excited to see the leaves change. And I've heard fall here on the East Coast is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm really excited to make some spooky yet also cozy and fall themed vlogs this year. What are some destinations that I am really excited to travel to out of my new base? So the top two that come to my mind are probably Athens and Lisbon just because those are two places that are not places that we could fly to out of DFW and so I just think that would be really cool if I could get some of those trips. Have I always been an avid reader like since a young age? Yes I have always always been an avid reader. I have loved to read honestly for as long as I can remember and I specifically remember starting the Harry Potter series with my mom in middle school and that is what really got me hooked into reading was reading those books with her and we would go to like the midnight premieres of the book release at Barnes and Noble and it was just so much fun. Harry Potter opened the doors for me to read other series. I specifically really liked dystopian novels at the time so The Hunger Games and Twilight and then that just led into other genres and here I am as a 27 year old who reads pretty much anything and I just love it. It's a way to dive into another world and to live a hundred different lives that you wouldn't get to live. I don't know. There's just something about reading that makes you a more empathetic, educated, understanding, just well-rounded individual. What kind of music have I been listening to lately? So lately I've been on a huge Lana Del Rey kick and I don't really know why. I think, um, well actually, okay, I think I do. One of her songs, Summertime Sadness, came up on my Spotify playlist and I forgot how much I loved that song. So since that song came on, I've been listening to her music. I just feel like she's kind of like my summer jam. So lately, um, by Lana Del Rey, I've been loving to listen to Summertime Sadness, Dark Paradise, Young and Beautiful, and High by the Beach. I've been having those songs on repeat, but then my favorite artists to work out to are Bad Omens, A Day to Remember, and Three Days Grace. Pretty much any like rock and roll band I love to listen to while I work out, but Bad Omens is definitely my favorite. Lately, my new song obsession has been Dangerous Hands by Austin Giorgio. That is such a fire song. Like you need to go look it up and listen to it. It's so good. Have I ever considered living abroad for a few years? 
years? Honestly, no, not recently. The only place that maybe we would live abroad would be Switzerland, and that's because Eric is half Swiss. It would be really hard to live there and also work as a flight attendant here. And also when you live abroad, you still have to pay US taxes. So you're paying US taxes plus the taxes of the country that you live in. And I don't know how anybody could afford that. But yeah, this has been a really fun way to catch up. If you guys have any other questions, please put them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give me a big thumbs up. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe because I would love to see you again in future videos. I hope that you're having a fabulous day and I'll see you next time. Bye.